Chris and Lisa, please, please join hands together here in front of your friends and family. Chris, do you take Elisa to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to support her completely, love her unconditionally, so long as you both shall live? I do. And Elisa, do you take Chris to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to support him completely and love him unconditionally, so long as you both shall live? I do. Before I want to get started, I need the bride and the groom to do something for me. Elisa, you are going to put your left hand on the table. And Chris, you're going to put yours right on top of hers. Now stare deep into each other's eyes. Elisa, tell Chris that you love him. I love you. Now Chris, tell Elisa that you love her. I love you more. <laughs> Okay, now let's just take a minute to cherish this because this is the last time you'll see this married man have the upper hand or the last words. <laughs> First off, this is just so I can't believe this is happening. Chris, when I found out that you were getting married, I was like, well, that's some uh, surprising but awesome news. And ever since then, I don't remember hearing you talk in a happier tone. I'm excited for you guys to embark on this journey that's marriage. It's gonna be one of the hardest things you'll ever do, but it's one of the most fun things you'll ever do, because you get to do it with your best friend by your side. I'd like you to thank you for coming to this beautiful venue to celebrate Elisa and Chris. I'm so excited to see so many friends and family we haven't seen in many, many years. Um, I've never seen her happier in her whole life, and so the joy that I know he brings to her brings joy to me as a mom and to my heart. And so that, how can you not love somebody that does that for your daughter? So I do love them both very much. Since Chris was, what, four years old or something? He's been the one person in our family that cares more about everybody else around him. More than himself, right? He cares, talks to everybody, gives advice when people aren't expecting it. He's confident about it, right? He just lets it out. Um, as we get started, I would like to first ask you to take a moment together, right? This evening's gonna go fast. Take a moment, look around at all these people. They're all here for you. They're here to support you because they love you. And I can't be more proud of my younger brother. Since he was five years old, we knew he was going to be the first person there. Love is what happens after the initial fall for each other is over. It's when the love at first sight turns into love at each sighting. Real love is constant, even when the normalcy and day-to-day -day cadence of life sets in. Elisa, I knew you were special first time I laid eyes on you, right? Um, however, as a co-worker, you were kind of a forbidden fruit <laughs> when it got to, even after being around you 24-7, being roommates and working together, I still couldn't get enough of you, right? You cherish me for who I am. You support me through any struggle. You miss me when we're apart. You make me laugh, and you motivate me to be the best version of myself. Enjoy each other, enjoy this day, enjoy the incredible feeling that can only come from finding your one person and having your favorite people all here to help you celebrate. Chris, my love, my forever, my best and forever. I vow to always love you more. Except when I say more, um, I mean that I will love you more tomorrow than I did today and every day forever. Um, I promise to love, respect, and appreciate you through the best and worst of times. You deserve the world, Lisa. 
And I'm going to do everything that I can to make you the happiest woman on this planet because you've already been that. I vow to always come prepared with snacks for every new adventure we may go on. And I promise to love you through anything and everything. With the words that you both have spoken just now to each other in front of your family and your friends, and by, by the power vested me in the state of Utah, I have the great honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. Chris, you may kiss your bride. The years will come and go. You won't take each other for granted. You will laugh a lot. You will eat, drink, and be merry. And you will grow older and wiser together. It's a fantastic story, and the ending is not in sight.